Angela Wolf here. Today I want to talk about a feature on the Brother Luminaire. It allows you to sew rows of decorative stitches inches apart, perfectly straight, using the projector grid feature. So let's take a look. You've probably noticed your machine has quite a few decorative stitches. You can scroll through here and find quite a few. But you can also go up here to character decorative stitch. Scroll through, there are many of them, including letters. I'm just going to pick a flower for now. This shows me the stitch and it tells me that I need to use foot N. Simply lift up the presser foot. Slides into place. I just have a piece of denim here, I just to see some of the decorative stitches. The projector has become one of my favorite features. I can click this icon and this will show up on my fabric. I can see the yellow pretty good with the denim, but I'm not sure how it shows up in video. So here's just, I'm going to lay this piece of fabric here just for a second. You can see the yellow design or if I change colors, you can really see it show up that way. So I'll leave this down just for a minute while I'm changing. I really want a stitch that's a little straighter because what I want to show you here is how to line up your decorative stitches in a row. So I'm going to click on this icon right here. It looks like these flowers are a little bit straighter, so I think I'm going to do a few rows of those. And this would be very cute on a kid's outfit or a even decorative trim on the, the bottom of jeans. Click set, and I'm ready to go. I'm going to make this just a little bit wider. That's as wide as it'll go. So let's go ahead and stitch. You can either just click the green button go or use the presser foot, whichever you prefer. There is our row of stitches. Now what if I want to have row and row and row? Just a whole line of different stitches. This will look really cute on the hem of a shirt, something like that. But let me show you something that's really simple. Now this is a new feature on the Brother Luminaire. If I click this icon right here, it'll give me this subscreen here. And what I want is a grid to follow. So let's see what we have. You can have a straight line. There's the grid. You also have angles, quite a few options here, but this is just one I'm going to use. You can also adjust how wide the grid looks. Let's go a quarter of an inch apart. Next, you need to make sure you turn it on. And you can also pick what color you want to make sure that it shows up on your fabric. I'm gonna choose red. So now I can take my decorative stitch and move it as far over as I want to and just give myself a different guide to follow. So if I have this decorative stitch lined up way over here, I can see this red line on top of my decorative stitches that I've already made. You can see here, I'm gonna put this fabric under here so you can see. This red line goes all the way across here in case you can't see that. Or just imagine, look at how far over this is. That's the edge of the grid and I can stitch way over here. Again, there's a, the grid. You can see my decorative stitches. So you have so many options to create straight stitches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna line up this right here. And what I'll do is focus my eye to make sure that this stays straight. As long as that stays straight, I know my next stitch line is going to stay straight. So either use the presser foot or the green button. Here I have two stitch lines that are a little over an inch and a half apart. So let's do one more just for fun because this I love that you can line these up so far apart. This is going to be great for decorative stitching, adding embellishment to fabric. This time I'm lining the decorative stitches up with the furthest end 
of the grid. What an easy way to have all of your decorative stitches in a straight line. And there's my decorative stitches. And look at how far apart that is. Almost three inches apart. Still perfectly straight all the way down just by using that grid. I think you would agree that grid feature is pretty cool. And now you can stitch rows and rows of decorative stitches, straight stitches, whatever you're using, and they're all straight. Again, I'm Angela Wolf. For more sewing tips and tutorials, be sure to visit brothersews.com and angelawolf.com. Until next time, happy sewing. Bye. <laughs>